Krishna, Rama, Buddha, Patanjali were among the ancient Indian avatars. A considerable poetic literature in Tamil has grown up around Agastya, a South Indian avatar. He worked many miracles during the centuries preceding and following the Christian era and is credited with retaining his physical form even to this day. Babaji's mission in India has been to assist prophets in carrying out their special dispensations. He thus qualifies for the scriptural classification of Maha Avatar, meaning Great Avatar. He has stated that he gave yoga initiation to Shankara, ancient founder of the Swami order, and to Kabir, famous medieval saint. His chief 19th century disciple was, as we know, Lahiri Mahasaya, revivalist of the lost Kriya art. A poem by Emerson. Illusion works impenetrable, leaving webs innumerable. For gay pictures never fail, crowd each other veil on veil. Charmer who will be believed by man who's thirst to be deceived. Lahiri Mahasaya The great guru taught his disciples to avoid theoretical discussion of the scriptures. He only is wise who devotes himself to realizing not reading only the ancient revelations, he said. Solve all your problems through meditation. Exchange unprofitable religious speculations for actual God contact. Clear your mind of dogmatic theological debris. Let in the fresh healing waters of direct perception. Attune yourself to the inner active guidance the divine voice has the answer to every dilemma of life though man's ingenuity for getting himself into trouble appears to be endless the infinite succor is no less resourceful the master's omnipresence was demonstrated one day before a group of disciples who were listening to his exposition of the bhagavad gita as he was explaining the meaning of the kutasta Chaitanya, or the Christ Consciousness, in all vibratory creation, Lahiri Mahasaya suddenly gasped and cried out, I am drowning in the bodies of many souls off the coast of Japan. The next morning, the Shilas read a newspaper account of the death of many people whose ship had foundered in the preceding day near Japan. Poetry from Autobiography of a Yogi by Amelita Gali Kurti From the depths of slumber, as I ascend the spiral stairway of wakefulness, I whisper, God, 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 Thou art the food, and when I break my fast of nightly separation from Thee, I taste Thee and mentally say, God, God, God. No matter where I go, the spotlight in my mind ever keeps turning on thee, and in the battle din of activity, my silent word cry is ever, God, 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 when boisterous storms of trials shriek, and when worries howl at me, I drown their clamor loudly chanting, God, God, God. When my mind weaves dreams with threads of memories, then on that magic cloth I find embossed. God, God, God. Every night in the time of deepest sleep, my peace dreams and calls, joy, joy, joy. And my joy comes singing evermore, God, God, God. In waking, eating, working, dreaming, sleeping, serving, meditating, chanting, divinely loving, my soul constantly hums, unheard by any. God, God, God. Bliss transcends every day, so do you.